Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. I do grocery hauls like this every week. I am a stay at home homeschooling mom. I have two kids. There's one of them, Lily. And yeah, so usually I spend probably around $100 to $150 every week. This week I went way over that. Some of this stuff will last like weeks to come. Some of it's not food um, and some of it was like Christmas presents. So obviously that doesn't really count towards my grocery budget but you'll see the totals of everything that I spent today at the end. I did Aldi yesterday. I ran to Aldi while my husband was home with the kids. So I went into Aldi and then I had some things that I needed to get at Walmart. So I did Walmart grocery pickup today. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the meal plan and then we will get into the hauls. Okay, for the meal plan, we have grilled cheese and tomato soup, shrimp alfredo, crock pot teriyaki chicken and fried rice, chili spaghetti, I got chili in the freezer and we're either gonna do it chili spaghetti or over potatoes. And then lasagna and garlic bread, air fryer, chicken thighs, and rice and green beans. I bought, I'm gonna buy some bone-in chicken thighs and I wanna try more like bone-in chicken and get like that crispy skin like I did with the whole chicken. And then this wasn't supposed to be on here but I went ahead and switched it before I showed y'all. I did have cowboy beans on here but I got those country ribs from Aldi that you're gonna see and um, I wanted to add those to the meal plan because that sounded good. So we got country ribs, mac and cheese, and salad. Here is everything that I got at Aldi. I spent $163, but some of this is not food and it's actually gonna be for Christmas presents. These cups, I got four of them. They were, I think, $5.99 a piece. So I got four of them as gifts for Christmas. They are stainless steel insulated coffee mugs. They're a really good size, they're 14 ounces. So um, yeah, as I said, Christmas presents, a red one, a blue one, I mean, a red one, an orange one, a dark blue one, and then this like turquoise one. And then I got this springform pan so I can make a cheesecake in my Instant Pot. And this, I think this is like $2. It's dry erase and this is to practice fractions and then the other side is to practice telling time so I picked that up then we got some produce I got broccoli two things some green onions and some regular onions got some strawberries and some little grape tomatoes a pineapple and some grapes then I got some different rice like box rices I got a red beans and rice a dirty rice and then two of the chicken flavor rice and I wanted to get some couscous too but they were completely out of the couscous then we got the variety pack of chewy bars some strawberry toaster tarts or pop tarts and then strawberry fruit and grain cereal bars got two big boxes of spaghetti because we were completely out of spaghetti noodles got another one of these dark chocolate with almonds I really really like this chocolate it's really good and then two cans of green beans. Picked up this teriyaki sauce to try. And then the cake that my sister picked for her birthday is, she basically just wants strawberry shortcake. So I'm gonna make an angel food cake and then make like a strawberry sauce with some of the strawberries and have some fresh strawberries too. And then I picked up some whipped cream as well. And then we got some of the whole bean coffee that I really like. And then, just to have on hand, not really part of the meal plan this week, we got salmon and tilapia, and then I got shrimp, because that's on the meal plan, but I like their prices, so when they have these in stock, I go ahead and get one when I'm out. And then I got some tuna, four cans, because we're pretty much out, and then I thought that this was gone because summer was almost over, but they got it back in stock again, the sweet peach wine. I really, really like it, and it's like three fifty, so I got another bottle. And then we got some meat. I only found one thing on Markdown. These country style pork ribs were $2 off each pack. So one was $3.44 and one was $3.13. So I will be making something with those in the future. And then I wanted boneless, skinless chicken thighs for our teriyaki chicken. I'm gonna do thighs and some breasts. So I got both. And then I'm going to do bone in skin on chicken thighs in the air fryer 
So I got these for that. And then they had more raspberry lemonade, so I picked up two, and some orange juice. Got some Greek yogurt to make some more two ingredient dough, and some heavy whipping cream, and sour cream. And then we're gonna do pork sausage for Andy's breakfast sandwiches. The kids requested some popcorn chicken, so I got some of that. Two blocks of extra sharp cheddar cheese, and a thing of Parmesan cheese. I was made sure this time to get the Parmesan and not the Asiago. Got a vanilla caramel coffee creamer and the whipped cream for the strawberry shortcake. And we only needed one gallon of milk, surprisingly. Some weeks we drink milk like it's water and then some weeks we barely go through it. So we have all the milk pretty much from last week. So I just picked up one, got some flour tortillas and two things of eggs, still 47 cents. And then some wheat bread and some sourdough bread for our grilled cheese. And that is everything that I picked up at Aldi. I forgot, I had these things on the floor as well. A pack of cola and some bleach. Okay, here is everything that I got at Walmart. I believe my total was around $69. So I will leave the total for that here on the screen. It doesn't look like a lot, but there's a lot of non-food. So it, get, it adds up really quick. So first we got some fire ant killer. We've had a fire ant problem in the front yard. So... Yeah, it's it's a mess. There are fire ants like literally everywhere. So we are hoping to get rid of those. Then I ordered the microfiber cloths that I ordered the other week and they were out of. They had them this time. This is, I feel like, a really good price for them. It's an 18 pack and I believe it was right at $5. So that feels like a good price. So I got those. That's one of the plant berry colors. Blue. Mm -hmm. and Very good. Yeah, it's kind of wondrous. And these look like a lot of fire ant. It does look like a lot of fire ant killer. And then we got some, there's an ant just on me. See, we need to get rid of the ants. Yeah. Okay, we got some pull-ups for Elijah. He just uses those at night. And then Andy needed more deodorant. This is his favorite one. We got some dishwasher gel. I prefer the one from dishwasher stuff. I prefer the one from Aldi, but they were out. So I had to order it from Walmart. Got some hand sanitizer because they actually had it and we are running low on the one that I keep in my purse. So I'm gonna refill my little bottle with this. Got me and Andy some toothpaste. I went ahead and just picked up the twin pack of the Colgate Sensitive. And then I got some vitamins for the kids. These are multivitamins with probiotics. It has A, C, D, E, B, and Zinc. I like that it had vitamin C and Zinc because not all kids' vitamins do. And then last non-food item is Swiffer dusters, so I can get some more dusting done. And these ah. are the ones with the gain scent. And then just a couple food items. So we all know I love my Badia Complete Seasoning. I use it for everything. But somebody recommended this Goya Total Seasoning. So it looks like kind of similar to the Badia. So we will see if we like it. And um, I believe they're around the same price, but you get a much bigger container of the Goya. I picked up this garlic Parmesan wing seasoning. I always mean to pick it up, but then I forget. I think it's Tiffany over the large family love um, that's always using this. So I decided to pick one up to give it a shot. We might put it on our chicken thighs this week. We will see, it sounds delicious. And then I've been trying to find this for a while. But when I'm not going in Walmart, I'm just doing it in the app. Sometimes they don't get these limited edition things on there. But they finally had it, and it's the Pepperidge Farm Strawberry Swirl Bread. So I thought that would be fun to have for breakfast. But yeah, that is everything. That is going to be it for this week's haul. I will leave the totals, as I said, here on the screen for both stores. And then the overall total, as I said, I spent way more than I usually do. But that's because I got way more stuff especially like non-food items than i usually do but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all in the next one bye